fascinating story here. Westminster Council, newly controlled by the Labour Party, of course, has dropped the term BAME to try to be more inclusive. It's replaced it with the term global majority. The council's also announced more anti-racism training for staff and they're taking steps to become an anti-racism organisation. Plus, they're introducing measures to remove pay gaps by 2025. Westminster City Council said in a statement, four years on from the founding of its black... Asian and multiple ethnic network, Westminster Council is committed to serious action to make its organisation more diverse and inclusive. At the Black, Asian and Multiple Ethnic Staff Network's annual meeting, the Council made three commitments. These include to be an anti-racist organisation, to continue sustained action to remove pay gaps by 2025 and to adopt the term global majority instead of BAME. Let's talk to Iman Aita now, who's an anti-racism activ activist and organiser of Black Lives Matter's protest. Iman... Hey. What the hell? Global majority? What's that about? Why are you starting like that, Andrew? Look at this pessimism it's right now. What's going on? It's why? astonishing. Tell me why. Tell me why. Well, uh, let's think about Westminster Council. Yeah. The majority of people, according to the last census, yep. are not Bain. Yeah. They are white people. I think yep. the I think the figures is something like sixty-seven percent. Yeah. So why are Westminster Council referring to the Bain community now as? as a global majority. OK, so right, I've got to break it down for you. Okay? Right. So we'll start from BAME. Right? Yeah. I hate the term. Ne right. I didn't use it in 2020. Don't use it now. Right. Why don't so you like it? The term. The term BAME or BME, ultimately, it puts black and Asian people into this homogeneous box in right. spite of the fact that we have different lived experiences. Mm. And then by excluding white people infers that white people or whiteness um, is superior and that all other ethnicities exist in the place of other. Right. And then it also, again, infers inferiority, which has ultimately been used as leverage but, to perpetuate. Well, it's, it's, no, it's no different to talking about the LGBT community. Are you, are you saying by using that phrase, that's implying a gay people like me are inferior because we're not in the great homogenized heterosexual part by of the excluding whites? Straight away, it infers that white is at the centre of society right. and all others okay. live, in, live in, in this kind of other existence. And then in terms of the global majority, which I am a mad fan of, right. by the way, it, it's great. Firstly, it's a refutable fact, OK? So black and Asian people are the global majority. Secondly, it encompasses kind of numerous ethnicities in an inclusive way without stripping them of their like individual identities. And thirdly, it gets rid of the kind of uh, inferiority so, issue. But it's OK then for the white people to be a, an inferior minority in Westminster? Well, it's interesting that you say that because, again, one could argue that due to the fact that we've now left the European Union, it's probably more of a salient point that we use this type of language. Secondly, I would actually agree with you if it wasn't for the fact that black and brown people still have to contend with racism to this day. Mm. And so that's ultimately the biggest issue that we have to hold on to. And so, again, when we use the term uh, minority ethnic, it infers inferiority, and inferiority ultimately is the kind of foundation of racism, and that's why it's perpetuated. So job, we need an alternative yeah, But the job of term. Westminster Council is to look after uh, local Westminster people, mm -hmm. tenants, uh, businesses. It's, the, it's, it's got the whole of left, the West End is part of Westminster Council. Why is it going into all this... Uh, international politics, if you like, but talking about global majorities. Because we're really diverse. Where have you been living, Andrew? Are you living in a cave? We're extremely diverse. So therefore, we need to adopt inclusive mentality, inclusive terms. Globally, a oh. global majority is yeah. an inclusive term because, right. like I said, yeah. it doesn't put us into this homogeneous box. And like I said, it strips away the inferiority kind of issue and ensures that we are now taking on a I, global perspective. I'm, I'm just